But then again, <laughs> giant asshole over there won't fucking run up on me. So, you know what we do? Fucking shoot his ass from afar. Bitch. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Well, I will say those are probably the only, like, main threats in this area, I suppose. Because now we, all we gotta deal with is fucking shield dudes and, you know, that one crossbow asshole. This guy. The fucking Las Plagas. And fuck me running. Uh, that's all we got. This. Even then, I think it's bullshit that the... That thing didn't die immediately. Like, initially. But, we're safe, so I guess it's... What in the world were they eating? They eating gunk. And you could just hear Ashley just taunting you in the background, just getting on your fucking nerves. But we got a yellow herb, so that just means that eventually we're going to be increasing our health pretty soon. I don't like increasing my health until I get a red herb that will, like, ultimate, like, not only increase my health, but fully increase it. And we got the rest on a faith. And that goes towards, oh, right here, our links. And there are three more items, two more, rather, and we shall be adding that pretty soon. Let's kick this damn door down. Fucking Ashley. This is some very, like, odd shit going down. Right here. Uh-oh. Ew. And from here, they kind of tell you where to go, but considering how linear this game is, it's pretty hard not to know where to go. All you got to do is just pretty much go forward, like, through this door. and Pretty much there. Oh, shit. Completely forgot about that fucking locker. Whoopsie. But yeah, it's... It's funny how, like, when I first played the game, and I saw that scene where they throw her down and all that shit, I'm like, oh my god, they're going to rape Ashley. And by no means am I saying that rape is something that should be laughed upon, but just the fact that dude threw her down, gave her the look, and she looks so helpless and so vulnerable, and they're like, oh shit, the camera's on, like, turn the shit off. I don't know. Now, right here is where pretty much the last of the shoot the shooting range is done. Like, that should be pretty much the final part, if I'm not mistaken. But because I haven't been doing them, I can't remember offhand. But that should be where the final section should be. What are you buying? Um. Damn. All right, awesome. Let's is upgrade okay? the firepower is that twice. Awesome. Firepower is completely done, so that's as strong as the striker is going to get. Is with twelve points. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. And we're pretty much set, almost. You know, so 
this part is a fucking pain in the ass because well you'll see come over here and these fuckers and their goddamn gren dynamite grenades Fucker doesn't. He's a gold face, pretty much. And he just. <laughs> Lame. As you see, they fucking. These guys. Now, the reason I'm fighting for them from back here is mainly because the, if I get close enough, the door will shut behind. In, in front of them caused me not to be able to get close to them to actually kill them so you pretty much gotta fucking fight them from afar and thankfully you only have to fight two waves now I'm equipping my shotgun because you don't see it, but right behind that door is this asshole. And if you're just speeding through, you know, carelessly, he will sneak up on you and catch you off guard. So, that's definitely something to keep in mind. I've noticed I didn't really get far in the... In the 40 minutes that I've been playing, I didn't really get far in the what are you whole island portion. <laughs> I actually expected to get a lot farther than where I got. But... The next cu up cupping, coming like sections aren't so bad. But they can be a bit of a bitch if you're not prepared. Like, right now, thankfully, I have a real good stock of rifle ammo, and if need be, magnum ammo, and a couple of incendiary grenades. They'll come in handy, because of the shit that's about to pop off pretty soon. This is probably one of the more scarier portions of the game. Alright, see, so yeah, see, there's nothing over here, or barely anything. You know, yeah, I was right. There's nothing actually over here. The music kind of gives you this eerie feeling. Now, I'm just going to... Yeah, it's locked. I can't actually get in there yet. Now, what they end up doing to you is making you... in. It, they make you, like, encounter an enemy that you can't... Like, defeat by normal means. You pretty much just gotta... Well, I guess normal means would be just filling the fucker full of bullets. But it wouldn't get anywhere. And this is probably the more scarier part of the game. You know, research equipment. Well, wonder what it's used for. When you move forward, you meet this fucker. On the table. You can't get inside... They're conducting some type of autopsy. It's locked. Something inside must be blocking the door. You can't get inside. Alright. And this is one of their fucking puzzles. And what you want to do is get the f shining... Like the blinking arrows. Like you're pretty much trying to make a stream. Like a stream. So you'll see in a bit. Um, like that. There you go. You're you're just trying to make you know one section go to the next. It's not hard, but you know what the what kind of expense were they doing around here? You know this fucking last plot got ended up connecting to this human. Pretty much got stuck. And Lewis's memo, that you have to read this because it actually gives you details on the enemy you're about to face. You know, 
you know, they created creatures like the Navistadors and El Gigante. And they start talking about the Regenerators. And it pretty much talks about how their metabolism is so fast that they can repl- like they can regenerate like lost limbs and there are plagas on their bodies that you can't see unless you know you have a special type of like like scope and that's what we need the semi auto rifle for cuz you'll eventually find it like we're actually getting ready to pick it up but the only way you can fight these fuckers off is with it. And yeah, this motherfucker right here is probably the creepiest enemy you'll face in the game. You can hear it like like laughing and shit. That smile. And you can probably hear it now actually. Cuz once you hit this not this corner, but the next one. He's actually waiting for you. See him? And we don't have any flash grenades to fight to fend him off. So, what you can do is this, and he'll bend completely backwards like some weird, like alien freak. Ouch! And. Just fucking run for it. Because it's not worth trying to fight this fucker off and waste the ammo. It's best to go in, hurry up, run in here, and get what you need. Because when you come through here... Well, you're going to have to come through here anyway. Because you have to re-write the fr freezer key card to get to the next area. And whatever this shit is in this thing is completely frozen. But what that is, um, no, I'm not going to rewrite the card yet. Let's turn this off. All right, we've rewritten the card. And we could just run out, but we want to know what this is. And what it is, is actually the infrared scope. And would you look at, would you fucking look at that? If that ain't creepy, I don't know what it is. But yeah, so pretty much, they give you like a tutorial kind of thing and right there you can kind of see the Las Plagas on its body and it just sucks because one of them are is on its back and you kind of got to shoot its fucking leg off in order to get the one on the back got one more left and I guess you can shoot through its stomach. And, well, that's pretty much it. It's kind of a pain in the ass to kill him, but, you know, it sucks to be them with the fucking pair plug stuck in their body. And its leg is still moving, actually. That's kind of freaky. Kind of feel bad for these guys, because... You can kind of like fight them off with the like tanks and shit, but oh shit, I got two of them on me. All right, he's dead. 
So yeah, you can probably see like with their face just how freaky they look. And that's probably this this is probably one of the more scarier parts of the game. Just the music and and the music they make, like the sounds and shit that they make and Now Alrighty then, never mind. I just decided to shoot his fucking leg out and it just decided to explode. Now, shooting its leg out is kind of freaky in and of itself because of when you do, it starts leaping and shit at you and that's kind of like scary and like, oh my god, this thing is going to fucking bite my neck off. I actually died to one of these during one of my playthroughs and that was actually depressing. So, you know, now that they're taken care of, let's go through and continue forward.